So today's the 24th. We're going to be working on our YouTube content in just a minute, but also we talked about what is a theory with this video right here that we watched. I'll put the link for the video in, um, in uh, on our YouTube channel. And so what he talked about was that you have theories and you have laws in science, okay? But they constantly are changing. And so one of the analogies that he used is if a theory hits a bump or some kind of technology improves on how we measure things in science, you don't throw the whole theory away. It's kind of like getting, what did he say? Flat flat tire. Car, a flat tire on your car. You don't throw the whole car away because you got a flat tire. You fix the flat tire and your car is good to go. Okay? So we have theories that scientists put out there and they're constantly being tested by other scientists. All right, and when other people look at your work and try to check it, what did we say that that was called the other day? Do you remember? Someone said it. Peers. Peer review. So peers, your peers or your friends in the science community are always trying to fix your theory for you. And when they find something that doesn't seem to be working right, they help you fix it. And we add to the theory to make it better. So it's not really, he said it's not really the theory of evolution using natural selection. He says the theory of the fact of evolution because evolution is occurring, we can see it. You can even see evolution occurring in bacteria that gets you sick. So people go to the doctor and what does the doctor give you to help fight the bacteria that's making you sick? Medicine. What's the medicine, What's the medicine called, do you know? Antibiotics. So you take antibiotics, and so he prescribes it for two weeks. So after about nine days, you start to feel better. The antibiotics are working. It keeps the bacterial infection down. You feel better. So a lot of times people are like, uh, the antibiotics are kind of giving me a stomach ache, so I'm just going to stop. I already feel better. I'm good. So what happens is you've left all the bacteria that were not killed initially by your first round of antibiotics in your body still. And it only takes just a few of those bacteria to quickly turn into millions and billions of bacteria making you sick again. But those are the ones that are the strongest and survive the antibiotic attack the first time. So if you went back to the doctor, he can't give you that same antibiotic. He has to give you a stronger antibiotic that you might have to take for longer. And you have to take it the full time so that you don't create a super bacteria that's immune to multiple types of antibiotics. So that's why it's super important to take your full time for the antibiotics and also not miss an antibiotic dose. So if you're supposed to take it once in the morning and once at night, it's really important to keep the number of bacteria killed inside your body. You need to take it the morning and the night for the whole two weeks, okay? That's how it works. So to finish up, we've been talking about scientific method, and the scientific method is basically just a process to solve problems. And so you have all of your hypotheses of how to solve the problem, you wipe those away, and you keep the one that was the one correct answer. Okay, so now I'm gonna let you guys work on your content. We're gonna Hi, BC News. We're gonna work on that right now. I'm here to help you. We're gonna go over to the, to the um, side tables, and we'll work on our content. Thank you, Mary.